from uh, Ashwin. He says, what is Google Tag Manager? Uh, Google Tag Manager is a great way to like deploy scripts and things like that on sites from one Google, like with a Tag Manager dashboard. Makes it really easy to change things and deploy things without having to log into the site. Um, it's really cool because you can specify certain scripts to run on certain pages uh, by just selecting, you know, designating which page URLs you want it to fire on in tag manager. It's in the trigger section. Uh, there's tags and triggers and all that. Anyways, tag manager, if you want to know what tag manager is, just go do a search. What is Google tag manager? You can read a ton of articles about it. Google's own articles or articles from others. Um, but it's a really cool system. I use it for a lot of stuff. Um, analytics, uh, Google ads, um, remarketing pixels, um, you know, Jason LD what for structured data uh, in certain situations. Technically, Jason LD should be actually on the page itself instead of like through a third party script. At least that's what Google's best practices um, documentation states. But it will validate and it will be it's, it's OK to do it within uh, a tag manager. And in certain cases, I've needed to do that. For example, I use a, a, a particular theme for a, a handful of sites that I manage that doesn't have a home page like the home page is built by the theme itself and there's nowhere to inject code into the home page um, even with uh, plugins like header footer plugin because there's just like it never shut gives you a, a, a like a home page you know option um, if there's no home page so that's one of those unique circumstances where I'll install Jason LD structured data uh, through tag manager but it's a really cool system I like it I use it a lot if you want really good training on Google tag manager uh, Google Analytics, by the way, I saw that you asked about that as well. Yes, I, I also usually install analytics um, through Google Tag Manager. All of Google's products work, play very nicely with Tag Manager. They're all designed to do so. So, and for example, like in Google Ads, when you set up remarketing or conversion tracking or anything like that, it'll it'll give you the conversion ID and um, uh, uh you know, it'll give you the, the information that you're supposed to add to the site and you can be a snippet of code or it can just give you the conversion ID, for example. And with, with Tag Manager, all you got to do is copy and paste the conversion ID into the correct tag or trigger field, well, tag field, really. Um, and so it makes it really easy. And the same thing goes with analytics. You just copy the analytics, universal analytics code or identifier, uh, or now it's the G4 analytics, which is it's slightly different. Um, and all of that integrates really well with Tag Manager. So but what I was starting to say was, if you want to check out some really good training, uh, go to measureschool.com. I think this guy's name is Julian, this young guy here. Um, and it's measureschool.com. He also has a uh, YouTube channel. If you just go to YouTube and search for Measure School, you'll find his YouTube channel. He's got a ton of free videos on there. He's got a ton of great uh, things categorized via playlist. So I know he's got one on there for Tag Manager. I know because I've watched a lot of the videos in there to learn how to use Tag Manager. And all this stuff is free. I mean, he's got some paid courses. But if you want to get real deep into the weeds on how to set up analytics and do all kinds of crazy cool stuff with Tag Manager, he's got some paid trainings too. But I've never had to go that far because that is just way too geeky for me. <laughs> I use it for kind of basic stuff. And uh, I've learned everything that I needed to learn about Tag Manager from this guy at Measure School, um, both from his YouTube channel, plus you can opt in for like a free training course, that kind of stuff. So I would highly recommend you go check it out. Any comments on that, guys? Yeah, be careful with an insert header plugin because some of those will do it site wide. And if you're talking about schema and, and, anal and analytics where you're looking to control uh, flows, especially through your pages, you want more control, right? You want individual page and post control if you're working in WordPress. And for that, I recommend Jeffrey Smith's uh, plugin. The Ultimate SEO plugin is fantastic because it has that uh, uh, header Code inserter plus, plus. insert uh, that, that that header plus uh, module. Code inserter go, plus. Yeah, code inserter plus, where you go yeah. page by page, post by post, and you can insert the additional code that that you want without affecting the rest of the website. So you know it, it, that's especially good with schema. Right now, where, you, where you're supposed to do page by page and post by post, whatever it is that you're doing, you, you're supposed to add your structured data for that specific page, calling in everything else, not inserting everything site wide. That's what Google is recommending. Yep. And in this case, we, we I recommend following what Google says to do. 
Yeah, and um, Code Inserter Plus inside the SEO Ultimate Pro plugin also allows you to inject code in the tag pages, category pages. Like it's a, it's awesome because you can do some really cool stuff. Uh, there's also the Global Canonical Manager, which is also pretty powerful. So there's just a lot of really cool things you can do with that plugin. So. 